Anyone who's ever had grass is all too familiar with overhead sprinklers and the headache they can create. But times have changed, and so has water technology. Today, the most efficient way to water a lawn is below the surface. When temperatures soar, homeowners ramp up their water use to keep valley landscapes looking their best. In the warmest months, residents use up to 90% of their water outside. While lawns do require a lot more water than a drought-tolerant landscape, sprinklers often water turf more than is needed. Overwatering is not only wasteful, it can create bigger problems. For instance, drowning your turf in water can leach fertilizer and natural soil nutrients from the root zone and cause grass to die. On the contrary, subsurface irrigation can improve the health of your lawn by preventing problems often seen with above-ground sprinkler systems. It can trim your water bill and, more importantly, conserve water. Subsurface irrigation is a highly efficient watering technique that can decrease outdoor water consumption by as much as 40%. It's similar to drip irrigation, the preferred method for watering desert-friendly plants in southern Nevada. Subsurface irrigation is very similar to drip irrigation. Um, it has point source emitters on it, so it actually has the emitters built into the pipes, um, similar to drip irrigation where it's putting water at specific points. Um, the difference is between it and drip irrigation is that actually it is built into the pipes where drip actually has like um, heads coming off of it. Um, it's more efficient than spray irrigation because it's actually putting water down into the soil, so you're not losing water to evaporation and winds and things like that. A buried drip system has many advantages compared to sprinkler irrigation and can provide long-term benefits to your lawn. One of the pluses is that subsurface irrigation eliminates evaporation. When you use spray irrigation, you're putting water up into the air, so you're misting um, with the winds, it's blowing, it's evaporating, it's going all over the place. With subsurface, it's again putting it below the grass, and so you don't have evaporation occurring, it's, uh, it's reducing it significantly by going through that process. Because your lawn is irrigated beneath the surface, you'll avoid overspray and runoff, common problems homeowners face with a traditional overhead spray system. Subsurface irrigation also will protect hardscapes, such as patios and sidewalks, from water damage. Another benefit? Less maintenance. In a very general sense, subsurface irrigation is much more maintenance-free compared to overhead sprinklers. With overhead sprinklers, you're always having to check for broken heads, uh, misaligned heads. Um, sometimes you have to check for the PVC pipe below because that can crack. With subsurface, you don't have to deal with those issues. However, with subsurface, you do have to check for clogged heads um, down below. Um, actually, sometimes roots can get into it, and so you need to check to make sure the filter system is actually putting in the right chemicals that maybe will uh, prevent that. Even though you'll have less yard work, you'll still need to monitor your water use. If you're not careful, you could overwater and even underwater your turf. After your new irrigation system is in the ground, turn on your system and observe it watering the soil before you lay sod. One of the things you need to check on, you know, periodically is how much water is actually going to your lawn. Obviously the quick check is just to visually look at it and see, you know, how the lawn's doing. Obviously if it's drying out, you're not putting enough water in the ground. Um, if it's basically when you're walking on it, it's like a marsh or something, you're probably putting too much water. Um, but really, to, to find out how much is the appropriate amount, you really look at it before you even put the grass down. And you run the system several times and just make sure there's good coverage across the ground. And that's really the best way to make sure that you're actually delivering the right amount of water for the grass. Subsurface irrigation works best in a new lawn. But before you start digging, consider consulting a water smart contractor who has experience installing the state of the art technology. If you choose to install it yourself, Remove hard, impacted soil first and replace it with good quality soil. A uniform soil texture will prevent dry spots in your new turf. Also, take measurements of the area you'll need to water. In the preparation, subsurface takes a lot more work than a spray system. Um, you have to basically go down a certain amount of inches, three or four inches, five inches below the soil. Um, when you do your lateral lines, um, you got to measure them out so that they're um, the same amount distance between each of them. So they could be 16 inches, 18 inches. The actual type of lines you buy, actually, there's different types. Um, there's spacing 12 inches, 16 inches, 18 inches on that as well. There's also different flow in the heads. Um, so there's a lot of variables in subsurface that you need to take into consideration when you're prepping it. Once your subsurface irrigation is in the ground, you can lay seed or sod. Be sure to check turf limits in your area. 
New turf is not permitted in front yards in Clark County, Las Vegas, North Las Vegas, Henderson, and Boulder City. And each jurisdiction limits the amount of turf you can install in your backyard. Subsurface irrigation can fail if it's not designed, installed, operated, or maintained properly. It's more expensive than a traditional overhead sprinkler system, and you can't make changes once it's buried. Do research, weigh the pros and cons, and ensure it's the right choice for you and your landscape. To learn more about subsurface irrigation and how it can benefit your landscape, visit snwa.com. Kick your water savings into high gear with subsurface irrigation and maintain a healthy lawn by watering from the roots up. When it comes to water efficient landscaping, you can do more with less. Reporting for Waterways, I'm Jason Gifford.